I'm Todd Daubert. I teach fifth grade at Bellevue Elementary School. This is my 31st year teaching in Cherry Creek, 30 years at Bellevue. Even though I've taught for 31 years, I've only used Imagine Project for one. And I kind of regret that because I could have done amazing things with it before. Uh, this year I've used the Imagine Project uh, way over 20 times. I would say I, I thought it's almost using it about once a week. One of the times when I used the Magic Project really effectively was on 9-11. Um, it's, it's a day that to kids is just a, something that happened in history. To me, it's something that actually happened while I was teaching, and it's pretty impactful for me. But through using the Imagine Project, I was able to help kids to actually see and kind of experience what that was like and um, process it in a way that I thought was really meaningful. I think the part of the Imagine story that is the most powerful is the transition from I'm dealing with really hard feelings here and then I shift to that positive view of the future here. And that shift is what helps the kids to kind of move beyond those feelings and see that there's another place to go. So at the, at the very beginning of the year, I had a student and the, her Imagine story with Imagine Hope. And it really stuck with me that that idea is really what this is. What people need right now is they need hope. When kids are able to transition to imagine more of a hopeful future, then I feel like they can really see and then make that happen for themselves. This very well could be the strongest group of students that I've ever sent to middle school because they know who they are better than any kid that I've ever taught. And that is the Imagine Project. When I think about how I've taught before, that's been what I've tried to do, but I haven't had the tool to get there. And this got me the tool. When you first take on this project, it's gonna take you places that you are gonna be really not ready for because it's not places you're used to going. It's going to take you into pretty vulnerable places. But the gift that it gives you from that is a connection with your students, with your colleagues, that you can't replace with anything else. Could you imagine sharing the Imagine story with your colleagues so that you can connect with each other before school year ever begins? That level of vulnerability would bind you together as a staff, help you to all move forward. And that's what I'm hoping for for my school. I don't think that when, when you change location, inner city, suburban, wherever you happen to be, I think what you're seeing is children are all having really strong feelings about a lot of things. Because kids pay attention. They listen to you. They listen without you knowing they're listening to you. They hear the news. You think of the internet and all the things that they might see around them. What kids need is they need a tool so that they can find their way through these things. And they need trusted adults to help them process that as they move forward into middle school. And that's why I love teaching fifth grade. That transition to middle school is so important. And into high school and beyond. I know that there are going to be a lot more pressures pushing on all parts of them. And that's why I think by by having a tool that they know they can use and that they don't have to have somebody lead them through and they don't have to have somebody um, guide them with because they are in charge of it. I believe that, that kids will, in many ways, when they get into those dark places, be able to do something about it. I think in the end, this could save kids' lives. I really believe that because I've seen kids come from really intense situations say, I need to write an imagined story and they just sit down and write. Now, what happens when they're at home by themselves or going through really intense time and they're a teenager, and what happens when they have that as their first response? That's the goal, and that's why we write it so frequently, so it becomes a habit.